right, I am going to show you on how to create a map for your postcard mailers. So it's all starting in Google, okay? So we are gonna go to that tile looking like thing and to maps. I got some stuff processing in the background, so I might be a little slow. All right, it opens up maps. And then if we click, and this is on desktop, okay? If we click on the menu right here. Oh boy, I might be very slow tonight. All right. Right here, some are called your places. This will open up a window that shows labeled, saved, visited, and maps. So when I want maps, See all of my maps. Okay, so it's under Google, my maps. And right here, we're going to start with create a map. And you can use maps for many things. You can use it directly for just your neighborhood. If you wanna you know, list all your just salts, um, just listed. If you wanna use a map for your team accomplishments, many ways to use the map. So let's see. I'm gonna type in the address that you wanna add to it. It's gonna click it. And then it's going to find that address you just typed and you're going to say add to map. All right, there it is. Now let's add another one. Add to map. Does that take? No, let's see. No. Adding to map. There you go. Now you can import them too. However, for the sake of this, I'm just going to type a couple in manually. Add to map. And again, I'm just pulling a couple addresses right now. On top of my head, there's nothing really specific. Um, some of them are listings I've sold. Some of them are neighbors' houses. Oh, no. All right, let's say this one's the last one because I want to show you something else. Okay, so we have just added a couple homes onto our map. If you want, you can name your map. Okay. 
double click training maps okay all right so i just selected a few homes right there okay so this is kind of like my map so here's something we can do same labeled right so you can design your map and they have some really popular icons here that you can use for example you have this little house icon so it changes it into a house and then you can pick a color too and it changes this little dot into a color if you want to pick your brand color if your brand color is a little bit difficult to see, so let's say it's yellow, it wouldn't be the best choice. Um, you know, if you want to make it your brand color, you can use this and you can change those dots however you'd like. Now, a little word of advice here. Make sure it's not something that is looking like the map, because if you are using it in a mailer, you want it to stand out bold pops of color okay so let's take the red one all right so here's my map now when i want to use it in a um mailer piece i want to make sure of a couple things i want to make sure that i am taking the map with you know some of the major roads i want to make sure those are in there because they are a great point of reference. Same if there's you know, any um, landmarks, for example, here is uh, a church that is kind of large. I wanna make sure that you know, maybe if I have more around, um, I can do that. Now those are all in a pretty concentrated area. So let's see, so for example, I would take a screenshot Say, and I'm not a big fan of putting the Google um, Maps on the bottom of it, just personally. So when you look here, I do have big roads um, all around, okay? So the big wide roads are kind of helping people to understand where I'm at on this map. So screenshot and Again, every computer has the option to screenshot. Um, I'm on a Mac, so for Mac, it is Shift Command 4 as a you know thing. There's a snipping tool in um, Windows, and you can just use that. So I just took a screenshot. All right, and here is my map. So this one now is a screenshot, okay? The screenshot gets labeled. And you can find your screenshot right on your desktop for the most part. Um, and you can now use it in Canva. So all you got to do is upload it just like a regular picture. And then you go ahead and you use it in your mailers any way you want it. I hope it was helpful. And I will catch you guys next time.